Hi guys, this is tabletnews.coin and I'm here with the iPad 2018, the 9.7 inch tablet which is the affordable one and uh, we're here with the game Hello Neighbor. It's available for free in the App Store. I'm playing its first chapter which is available for free and uh, for the rest you may want to pay a little bit extra, something like a couple of dollars. So Hello Neighbor uh, was available on the PC and the console for a while, now it has uh, reached iOS and we're running it on the latest and one of the most affordable iPads which is priced at $329. This is basically a demo of its uh, graphical abilities because it has the same processor as the iPhone 7 and still can carry this game which is quite intensive but also not exactly bug free. It's loading and here we go, this is Act 1. The game is a bit on the creepy side. You are a child who has to infiltrate the house of a neighbor who's being creepy and uh, kidnapping other kids. The kid and the ball. There is a slight vibe here that we're getting a sort of thriller. Okay, so let's see what the controls are like. We got the joystick to move the character. Uh, we're playing from a first person view. Everything feels deformed like in the game Coraline or excuse me, like in the cartoon Coraline. Creepy, creepy street. There is an off-putting music in the background and this kid is pretty short, that's why I will have to jump every once in a while to either avoid traps or get to certain mechanisms. You will see. Hello Neighbor is in the App Store. It's been in the App Store for about a week and a bit and I'm playing it on the iPad 2018. This kid is angry. I don't know why he's playing with a basketball but he knows best. Suddenly he hears something and that's the creepy house of the creepy neighbor. You're here at tabletnews.com because we're testing the latest iPad, we're also playing games and trying to see what the fuss is all about. Looking out the window and we're going to try and infiltrate the house. If you get caught it's game over and you can play it again. And every once in a while there will be a weird cutscene that will basically transport you to another world. My god, somebody's screaming. There's a lock on that door and we have to pick it. But first of all, we have to draw him outside the house. And we just got caught. Okay, so the key is there. The key is on the second floor placed on a blue table. This game is mostly creepy because we don't know exactly what's happening. To tap or to use an item, tap this button, okay? I turned on the machine so I can make him uh, come out and see what's happening. So we can get inside the house. Let's see what's happening here. So we have to maybe jump, jump again. Not sure what we're doing here. We may even get caught at some point. So uh, when the creepy guy approaches, you'll feel everything around you vibrating. So at least there's that warning. Let's see how... Oh my god, he's here. Let's see how we can get inside the house and hopefully not get killed. The aim is to reach the second floor and we just got got. Okay, trying again. Sometimes we'll come out of the house and do some work. Uh, every once in a while the joystick will get stuck. That's an annoying aspect which I noticed. Uh oh, he's in the bathroom. Uh, to open a door, tap on the lock. Uh, we got got again. He's very fast. That's something else you should have in mind. So. The idea is to distract him, here he is, as long as we're on the other side of the street, he can do no harm. Still, such a creepy character, my god, so creepy. And I'm actually impressed by how well the game looks on this iPad. I've been playing it on my iPhone 7 and uh, it doesn't look as good. Hmm, what's happening here? Fire escape. Okay, so 
we cannot mess with that maybe we need a tool a good idea to get here would be using a tool to get through the fire escape and get to the second floor and get the key he entered his house through the window now that's peculiar oh he's also throwing stuff at you i forgot to mention about that and we got caught again it's a kind of game that may require some tutorials in order to get it properly let's see what's happening here can we close the door maybe he's coming closer and every once in a while when he's coming closer he'll actually freeze and the sounds are getting creepier by the minute what does this do I just turned on the lights and we got caught again it's becoming a bit annoying you have to know what you're doing and try not to get seen okay this time we're going through here we're exploring and trying to access the house through this window here okay so it would be a good idea to open some of the shelves and maybe find a screwdriver in order to make those things work and by things i mean that uh, leather oh there's something here maybe not the perspective of the kid is very weird i know he's short but he's too short for his own good this doesn't open let's see what's happening here we can't see everything because we're too short and sometimes you can even hide here and let the guy pass that's the game it's called hello neighbor i played it on the ipad 2018 uh, not my favorite cup of tea a bit confusing and uh, you have to really know what you're doing here maybe watch some tutorials and I feel that the camera is odd, the controls are not exactly spot on with the joystick, it feels like a game for a 7 out of 10. I have a bit of more exploring to do, but at least the game looks fine on the iPad 2018. This is it from tablenews.com, bye bye.